90 years behind bars. That's the combined maximum sentence a man and woman could face after a series of undercover drug buys throughout the south end of Fargo. Those undercover operations took place in many areas many of us frequent too. Places like Kmart and the Bowler. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric has been following this situation for us throughout the day and joins us live. Bradford? Andrea, Mike, it's been nearly a month that Fargo Police, along with various other local and federal agencies, have been setting up these undercover drug buys. We're talking the Metro Street Crimes Unit and DEA Task Force agents. Court documents outline the first buy from James Eason occurred June 20th at the Kmart on University Drive South. Undercover agents buying $250 worth of meth. Five days later, another undercover buy. This time, agents purchasing 600 bucks in meth at the Countryside Trailer Court. That's along 25th Street. June 27th, two days later, Fargo Police undercover officers meet James Eason at the Bowler, buying $300 in meth. June 28th, again at the Bowler, $600 in meth is bought. And the last one, July 12th, Agents agreeing with Eason to meet at the Taco Bell on University Drive South. They then moved to 18th Street South, where law enforcement made the arrests. James Eason, James Eason and Shantae Turner were both arrested that day. Turner was hiding in the front seat of the car that Eason was driving that day. A search warrant for Turner's residence was conducted, officers finding still more meth. Many of these criminal charges include the fact, too, that these drug buys occurred within a thousand feet of a child care facility or school. Both Eason and Turner have their first court date set for early August. All right. Thank you so much, Bradford. Combined, Eason and Turner also face almost $200,000 in fines if convicted.